In this video, we want to prove the following theorem. If A is an n by n symmetric matrix, then this product is always zero for all x in Rn. So these x's are in Rn. Okay. always get suspicious when I see problems like this. Uh, I like to know what size matrices I have. Well, if X is in Rn, that implies that X is a n by 1 matrix. So let's just say is n by 1. So x transpose is going to be 1 by n and a is given to be n by n. So now what is x transpose times a times x? Well let's do that product first. x transpose is 1 times n times a which is n by n. Since those are the same we're going to get back a 1 by n matrix. And for completeness, let, let me write down what x is. x is n by 1. n by 1. So I multiplied the first two. I got 1 by n. Now I multiply it by x. Ooh, look at this. n by 1. I get those are the same, so my answer, ooh, my answer is going to be a real number. It's going to be a one by one matrix, which is a real number. And I see transposes involved here. Now, the transpose of, say, 7 is just 7. I have one row, and that's it, and I wrote it as one column. 7. Okay, the, the transpose of 2 thirds is 2 thirds as a matrix. Okay, I think that that's going to be key here. All right, so now let me think here. So now we know that x transpose times a times x is equal to x transpose times any other way of writing a, which is negative a transpose times x. And the scalar can come out in front. It's negative x transpose a transpose x. Okay, so what we have is that x transpose times a times x is negative x transpose times a transpose times x. Now remember, this is a real number. So you know, and remember that a transpose, well let's use a different letter, b transpose transpose is just b. So whatever this is, if I transpose it twice, that's okay. So maybe I should say that on the next line. So this here is equal to negative uh, x transpose a transpose x transpose, transpose. The negative just stays there. And at the end, I'll transpose everything. So now, we write it in reverse order, but we transpose things as we go along because of that transpose. We transpose x, we get x transpose. 
We transpose A transpose, we get back A. We transpose X transpose, and we get back X. Let me just write it a little bit neater. Now, you have to understand, this is a real number. And when you transpose that real number, you get back the same number. So, this x transpose ax is equal, ooh, it equals to its negative. Now, these are real numbers. These are real numbers. This is a real number. This is a real number. Why? Because it's a one by one matrix. If two numbers differ by signs, if two equal numbers differ by signs, they better be zero. Now, seven equals negative seven is not true. Negative three equals to negative negative three is not true. Do you know what? Zero equals negative zero is true. This implies that x transpose ax, this real number, this real number equal to zero. And this is for all x in Rn. We got back zero, never saying that we're using a special x. Now, I can't stress enough the only reason we were able to go, this was the only reason that we were able to go from this to equal to this. That is, ignore that transpose. There was only, and once we had that, once we had this equaling that, the answer came immediately. The reason we were able to go from here to here was we spent a lot of time realizing that that's a real number. That X transpose AX is a real number. And then we realized, oh, we could ignore that transpose. Okay, here's a pretty nice proof. Before you prove things, know what it is that you're talking about. Okay, in the proof, the first thing I did was look to see what that was. It was a one-by-one one matrix. If you looked at one of my earlier videos, I did the same thing. And we didn't get a one-by-one, one, and it wasn't helpful. But in this case, it was the only way to do this proof. At least the only way I can think of. I can't imagine how else you can get rid of this transpose unless you knew that it was a real number. And you have to know that the transpose of a real number is not the reciprocal. The transpose of 7, it, it's not 1 over 7, it's 7. Okay. If you like videos like this where you learn some skills about thinking, about how to write a proofs. Subscribe to my channel. All I do are proofs. Leave a comment and watch and learn. See you in the next video.